Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Eniola. So let's say you've just completed a machine learning or a deep learning course, but you still feel like you've not gained enough practical experience that could help you land your next ML role. Well, in today's video, I'll be going over some basic steps that will be really helpful in gaining the experience that you need. So let's get started. The first step is to pick a project that you are passionate about. So most ML courses have really great example projects to help you learn how to build ML models. Say for example, building a classifier to predict whether an image contains a cat or a dog. But these projects do not give you the experience that most employers are looking for when reviewing your application. So instead, you could pick a project to work on that you are one, passionate about two you could easily determine what the input and outputs of the models are and three that you could complete in a reasonable time say one to three months so for example when i first started i built a web application that allows businesses find new customers by predicting the most similar customers to their current customer base and i chose this project because back then the company i was working for was facing the problem of spending so much time manually looking for similar customers on the internet and i realized that if i could help them solve this problem it would really make the lives of the marketing team easier and help the company increase their bottom line and so you could look for low-hanging for projects like this for example, in your place of work or something that personally resonates with you. The next step is getting the data. There are two ways to get in data, either by searching for existing data sets that matches your project on websites like Cargo or Google Datasets or GitHub, or if such data sets do not exist for your project, you could easily collect it yourself using various web scraping tools. The next step is to pre-process the data. So most likely the data that you get would be messy. And so you would need to find the weak points in this data and fix them. So for example, if you're working with structured data, you could try looking for missing values and either dropping the missing values or replacing them with the mean values. Or if you're working with image data, you could try making sure that the labels correspond to the images and try making sure that all the images are in the same resolution and dimension and fixing that if it's not. And so once you've pre-processed the data, the next step is to review existing work. So unless you're working on some novel problem, there's a high chance that someone out there has solved either that same problem or a very similar problem. And it's very advisable to review that work in order to guide you on how you can approach solving your own ML problem. So you could search on websites like Archived or GitHub or Papers with Code to find relevant papers and then review those papers and then decide if you'd like to go with the approach. Say, for example, you can use their pre-trained models or if you want to build your own architecture or your own models from scratch. So once you have reviewed the literature, the next step would be to implement the solution. So in addition to building and training your ML models, you also need to consider the production requirements of whatever application you would be deploying the model onto. So for example, you want to deploy your model on a mobile application. You would need to make sure that your model is small enough to run on a smartphone. Or say for example, your application needs to run in real time. You would need to determine what your latency requirements are and make sure that the model you're building meets these requirements. And lastly, you should share your work. So you can put your code on GitHub so that your colleagues, so that potential collaborators or even future employers could see the amazing high quality work that you have done. Um, you could also write a blog post where you talk about your process from start to finish, um, were there any bottlenecks that you faced, how did you overcome them, what kind of trade-offs did you make and why did you make those. And lastly, you could also demo your models on web applications and there are many tools that can help you create web apps for your models with very few lines of code. And so if you like to see how to do that, do check out my video on that. I'll link the video down in the description and also put it somewhere 
in this frame so if you follow the steps and you decide on a project please leave a comment below with the project you decided to work on and if you complete that project also leave a comment below to a link where i could see that i would really really love to see the work you do and thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like please subscribe if you haven't please share this video it really helps me grow my channel and i'll see you next time bye